Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday, November 18th. Uh, Will and I wanted to talk to you about uh, the tragic events that have occurred uh, this past week and a half. Um, first of all, uh, Rebecca is very uh, grateful for all the help and support that she's received, the family, and uh, we appreciate that as well. Um, as you know, uh, last night at a press conference yesterday, uh, Monday morning, we called for the vote of no confidence. Uh, I know that many, many of you ha have been asking us for that for some time. Uh, as you know, we've tried to make it work. It has not, and it uh, clearly is not going to work, so we have no other option uh, but to, to go down this path. Um, so you'll be receiving ballots in the mail. Most important thing, no matter how you feel, vote. We want people to uh, let us know where they stand on the issue. Uh, and we'll go from there. It will only be successful either way it goes if a significant number of people actually cast a ballot. Um, I forget what percentage that we had in the survey that we did at the first year, but it was really uh, pretty high. I'd like to see that uh, uh, at least or in per perhaps even better. Um, so vote and uh, we will see where this takes us. I don't know where it's going to go, but uh, I will tell you that um, there's lots of moving parts. Um, uh, we are talking to everybody uh, that is, uh, has made a request of us, uh, media-wise, uh, to get the word out. So with that, I'll let Will uh, say some things. Yeah, just a couple things, guys. <clears throat> uh, you know, the community really supports you guys out there. They really support us. Uh, we've had numerous community partners from all across the demographics of our community come and, and, and share the same frustrations that we have with the uh, department head of the police department, uh, uh, Garcia, uh, the same that we've seen here. I mean, he, he treats them the exact same way he treats us. So please vote. The no confidence vote is the first step. This is going to be a continual effort started, started yesterday uh, in order to get change in the leadership of our, of our department. But we need everyone to vote, no matter how you feel, like Joe said. Please vote. Take the time. It takes two seconds. Fill it out. It's a prepaid envelope. Send it back. Come down to the office and vote or go down to PPSLA if you're a sergeant lieutenant. And please vote. We like to get everybody to vote. The other thing is, too, and I know I've beat this up a bunch, but it's more critical than ever is donated time. We need as much. If you have not donated your time for this year, you got seven hours back in August, please do. Uh, all these activities, i.e. vote no confidence, uh, is clearly not mutual time. The city's not going to count that as mutual time, so we're going to have to rely on donated hours to get these items accomplished. Also, uh, defeating Prop 47, which is a huge win for us and for fire, it got defeated by overwhelming majority. That also cost a lot of donated time because, again, that is something that the city determined was not a mutual benefit, so we had to use donated time to be able to defeat mm -hmm. that. So I plead with you guys, if you have not donated your time, no matter what you think of the union, the Prop 47 issue, and especially this issue uh, with Garcia are extremely important, I think, to every single one of you out there. So please consider donating your time. And as always, uh, stay safe out there and continue to provide the great service to the citizens. And we will let you know uh, as this proceeds. Thank you. Thank you.